Hi. The procurement section of MRP Easy is designed for the purchasing manager. The Purchase Orders tab shows an overview of all orders, the status, the cost, when it's expected, if paid, and more. Plus, the report can be viewed in terms of purchased items to get an overall line-by-line -line summary. Two important reports show what items need to be procured, critical on hand, and requirements. The requirements report shows, line by line, how many parts are required by a certain source of demand, when they are required, and when is the last date the purchase must be placed. When creating a purchase order here, the purchase order will be fully pre-filled. Once we save it, the items are booked to where they were demanded, and they disappear from the report. The Critical on Hand report shows total demand for all items which are below minimal stock value and need reordering. When creating a purchase order here, other items on the report from the same vendor are added. Again, when we save the purchase order, the items are booked to where they were required, and they disappear from the report. Let's start a new purchase order from the Purchase Orders section. After selecting a vendor, MRP Easy highlights all the items that are associated with this vendor. Or, if you first choose an item, MRP Easy will autofill its vendor. The prices of items and the expected date of the PO will be automatically filled according to the saved purchase terms, which contain the lead time and price information. To send the purchase order, download the PDF, or have MRP Easy open your email client with a pre-filled email. In the top part of the purchase order, it is possible to track the progress in detail. By saving the order date, the status of the purchase order is changed to ordered. By saving the shipment date, the status of the purchase order is changed to shipped. If you manually create a purchase order, then you must know that the software automatically does not book the items to their respective orders. To book the materials where they are needed, click on the Book Items Automatically button. Receiving Purchased Goods and Purchase Invoices For reporting a full receipt, just fill the Arrival Date field and click Save. In case you need to report a partial receipt, change the quantities in the Expected Quantity fields to what was actually received, enter the arrival date, and save. Repeat the same process until all items are received. By default, one purchase order corresponds to one purchase invoice, which details can be saved in the PO header. In the Taxable and Additional Fees fields, enter other costs that will be divided among all purchased goods, for example, transportation costs. Payments for the purchase invoice can be entered at the bottom of the PO. If it is needed that several invoices correspond to one purchase order, then at Software Settings, the Several Invoices per PO functionality should be turned on. In this configuration, for reporting receipt, open the purchase order, scroll to the Now Visible Invoices section, and click Plus to record a new invoice. Fill the details, check the items and quantities that are received, and save. Now, these items on the purchase invoice are taken into stock. When creating a purchase invoice, it is also possible to choose another vendor, which is useful, for example, when paying to a logistics company. In the Taxable and Additional Fees fields, enter other costs, 
that will be divided among purchased goods. Payments for the purchase invoice can be entered on the invoice page. To send a request for a quotation to your vendor, start a new purchase order. There are two alternative statuses to choose when creating a request for a quotation. With status New PO, the software expects these items to arrive into stock in the future. If you choose the status RFQ, then the software will not expect these items to arrive in stock yet and you can easily duplicate it for several vendors. To turn the request for quotation into a purchase order, change the status from RFQ to New PO and save. Now these items are expected into stock and can be booked for manufacturing and sales. For the comfort of the purchaser and fast and effective production planning, lead time, and cost estimation, it is crucial to save the purchase terms of items into MRP Easy. For individual items, the purchase terms can be entered and managed in the Items Details page. At each vendor's reports, it is possible to manage the vendor's purchase terms and update them in bulk if necessary. And also, in the Procurement Vendors section, it is possible to import purchase terms from a spreadsheet both for creating new purchase terms or updating existing ones. Just make sure to check the user manual for detailed instructions. To learn more about the functionality of MRP Easy, please see our other videos. Thanks for watching.